Hello guys, my name is Henry Holman, and today we're going to talk about Shadowplay 3.1. Uh, first of all, this is uh, a, a program that's uh, built in for GeForce um, uh, graphic cards, so if you don't have that, it can be a bit boring for you guys because you are not able to use it. But if you have an evaded GeForce card, lean back and learn a lot. This is an amazing program that, uh, that has been changed a bit in the new update, but I will uh, come through that in uh, this little tutorial. First of all, when you open up the program, you can see the games you have installed. You can see that I am using uh, Counter-Strike Global Offensive as uh, the game I'm playing the most. And in here you are actually able to see which kind of uh, settings you are using right now, current. And optimization, I don't have anyone and this is actually not because of me, that's actually because of, uh, of the game. It's not, it doesn't have that option to, um, uh, with Nevada. I don't know why, but it doesn't have you. But you can, of course, do a lot of other stuff to optimize uh, your Counter-Strike. Um, but up here in the top, you have drivers. Though in here you can see which kind of drivers you are. If you have any new drivers, you can just you can just check or download. There will come a link up here. You have a new driver, but we can just take a fast check. Check for the updates. You're gonna check. You have the last GeForce driver, so everything's fine. You can see the driver I have right here. This is just an info site where you can download a lot of different stuff, see, read about a lot. This is just the news feed. Um, but up here we have a little uh, nice uh, thing. We can uh, press the settings. In here, you are able to see um, about Nevada. You can change the language on um, a GeForce Experience. Uh, you can uh, use uh, this. This is for if you're sharing your game with Twitch, you're streaming. This is uh, you're gonna press this on. If you're gonna have any drive updates, all that stuff, you are able to take that on down here in the bottom. My rig, you're able to see. I'm using a GeForce GTX 980. What driver version I'm using? My Core i7 uh, 5820K, and I have a 8GB of RAM. You can see my monitor resolution and my hertz. You can see the future. Um, this um, is like is uh, your equipment available for the content that Shadowplay and uh, GeForce Experience uh, provides to you. You can just open them up, and you can see right here. I have all the necessary things to run it. So game optimization, yeah, I'm able to use that one and probably you are too because a lot of the newer computers out there are available uh, for all of this. It doesn't uh, take that much to have uh, any of these graphic cards or the, the CPU. Uh, game stream, it can be a bit more recurring, but uh, you can see this, everything works here fine. And this one, I have a fiber connection, so this is okay. Uh, so I'm not using any router at all. Sharing, it's the same here. Everything is fine. There's a check mark on everything. Uh, virtual reality, I'm not using that at all. Uh, this is still on the beta for uh, GeForce and thing. I'm pretty sure it's from all others too. So this is pretty new and I think that will go one or two years before this actually starts to come out a lot more than it is right now. But let's return to the most important thing about this uh, GeForce experience is the shadow play. And the shadow play, you will find it up here in the top. There's a little icon, you can see my mouse here. Let's just press it. There will come up a pop up here where it says uh, instant replay, record, and there will be some icons over here. Let's just start from the first one instant replay. You can turn it on and you can customize. And we're just gonna go in there. Oh, it seems like we are actually recording right now. So let's just uh, close that one down. I will just do that fast. There we go. Now you can see it, it had been saved. That was actually because I was uh, I had put it on. I don't know why, but we will uh, go in now. You can see it here. Um, this is the replay. This instant replay. That actually means if you're inside a game and you don't want to record everything, you're just gonna record the good moments, the good kill streaks you have. You can just press a key and it will record a certain amount of time backwards. So that means, in my case, I put mine on 10 minutes. That means if I've done something really, really, really good in the game, I can just press a key and it will record the 10 last minutes of gameplay. It's a lot different from instant uh, um, recording where you are recording everything from start to, to the end. The size, uh, the file size can be really, really big. 
you can see here right now is actually saying that 10 minutes is uh, uh, six gigs and we'll come through and uh, you'll see why it's six gigs i have used the customize uh, because um, i like to change the resolution frame rate and all that we'll go through that now you are able to change whatever resolution you want to record in i can recommend if you don't want to have the 1040p uh, hd 60 fps you can just go 1080p that's the normal one people are using but if you would like to upload uh, 1440p 60 fps i have another video on youtube that you are able to see how you're gonna do it even if you're just recording in 1080p so be ready and you don't do not forget to see that because you are getting the vp9 encoder in that video so it's a good one to see if you want to have the good quality on youtube too uh, but I am using right now the 4K, I have the option for it, maybe you don't have, that's all about uh, what graphic card you have in your computer. Frame rate, uh, you can 30 or 60 FPS, I think almost everyone today are using 60 FPS. Um, down here, bit rate, uh, megabit per second, this is uh, pretty important down here. Uh, this is how big and how good the quality will be. Um, and of course, how big your uh, file will be. The better quality, the bigger file. Uh, I will not recommend you guys to go on the 50. And I will not recommend you guys to go over 80. And the reason for that is going over 80 will make your uh, file really, really big. You can see up here the six gigs as I have right now. If I'm uh, uh, pulling this, you can see it's just rising and rising and rising to almost 10 gigs. So it can be pretty big. And of course, the other set way, it's going down 2.3 gigs uh, if I'm uh, using a 30 uh, megabit per second. The reason I'm not using the smallest or on the 50, that's because the quality. It can be a bit blurry, blurry and it will not uh, it will not look good. And you are not able to, to make the quality better when you first have recorded it. So in my opinion, keep it around 60, 70 or 80. That's the personal i have tried every other settings uh higher and lower and it didn't work at all i didn't uh, seem to find uh, any better quality when i uh, actually went up 90 to 100 120 and so on uh only that my size uh, my file size just uh, got a lot bigger and it took me a long time to work and render in sony vegas uh, as the program i'm using but so uh, keep it as maybe you want to go as me, you can go from 50 seconds to 10 minutes and to 20 minutes at maximum. I'm using 10 minutes and 80 uh, megabit per second. So let's just save this one and jump to the next one. Record. We're going to go again. You can start it on, but uh, there will be some shortcuts. We'll come to them a bit later. In here again, we're going to customize it. Go for the same settings as you used before. You're going to have the same uh, settings and same quality again. Uh, we just went through all of this, so there's nothing much to say about it. Keep it at there. Now you can see why we have it there and why we don't just gonna go in here right away and put it to the maximum because we think that's amazing. That's uh, about the file size. So let's just save this up. In here you have the gallery. We don't want to talk about that. We're gonna talk a bit about this. This is the sound. Uh, you can um, uh, use push to talk where you're just going to press a key and you'll be able to record the sound you're uh, talking there. You can say always on, I like I'm doing. It will just uh, stay on all the time. And of course, off you don't, if you don't want to record your voice or any sounds. But uh, let's go in and customize it. In here, you can see what uh, you hear. That's of course, if you have any background music or anything like that, it will be recorded. Um, it will also record even if you just take your uh, Yeti stereo, it will still record your game sounds. So don't be afraid that you don't gonna get all your Counter-Strike or your ga game uh, sounds onto the recording. Of course, it will record it. But if you have background music, it will come there too. This down here, the volume and the boost, this is so beta in, uh, in the uh, new 3.1 update. This is not working at all. Uh, this, it seems, in my opinion, it's a bit buggy, so I just let it be on 100, the volume and the boost, don't, don't touch it. It will just make your voice sound really, really bad. 
So uh, keep it there, and maybe in 4.1 it will be a bit better when uh, when GeForce gonna update this. So let's just save this again. Then we have this uh, setting out here. Let's press that. In here you are actually able to connect. You are actually able to connect with uh, everything. I am right now connected with uh, Facebook. You can connect to YouTube and a lot other. You're just gonna uh, log in and you can just sign in. Uh, and then you're actually able to upload your footage right away. You don't need to, if you don't want to edit them or anything like that. You can just put them up right away. And the same if you're gonna go to Switch, you can just use uh, Shadowplay. And actually, you are able to uh, record up and stream up to 4K. So that's pretty nice. Uh, I don't think that's that many people uh, yet who are able to see 4K or the equipment to do it is actually pretty expensive. So it's still in the future to uh, to do that, but you are able to do it. So that's pretty nice that uh, that Nevada already did that. So um, let's just go back and see. We have the hot layout. In here, you are actually able to put on a little um, status indicator. It will uh, tell you if you are recording and if you're downloading, you are able to see it in-game. This little icon will not uh, come on the final record. It will just be something that you see and no one else. You can also put a FPS counter if you would like to see um, how hard you're pushing your computer, if you're recording in uh, high quality or anything like that, if you're going to 130 or whatever your computer can go th uh, to, you can see how it uh, will um, work and uh, yeah just the fps i don't use it i must admit uh, i'm i have a pretty good rig so in my opinion it doesn't matter that much if uh, if i'm uh, if i can see it or not uh, the viewers that's uh, if you are um, uh, if you're streaming and you would like to see how many are actually looking at you right now you can put that on and you can put them together you can place them wherever you want uh, it's just uh, the imagination that's uh, setting a, a limit there Next up, we have a keyboard short, uh, shortcuts. It is a bit more important. This is actually in-game. Uh, I will not go through the general, the capture, the, the screenshot capture. I don't think that many people actually do that anymore. And if they do, maybe Steam or all of those providers, they already have some pretty good uh, functions that's working pretty easily, that's working with their own uh, their own program. So. We will uh, jump that over and jump directly to record. In here we have those two settings we talked about, instant record and the one where you just record everything. Uh, in here you are able to uh, press, in my case I set it to L plus F9, that's actually I'm pretty sure that's just the default one I'm using. Uh, where I'm uh, recording the last 10 minutes uh, that I played, if I made something nice I just gonna press Alt F9 and it will record the last 10 minutes, so I have it on record. Uh, and if I'm sometimes I'm gonna record the whole match or like right now I'm recording everything so I'm just using uh, LF10 and it will uh, record everything but again when you're in game it's pretty pretty important to remember those shortcuts and I'm an old man as you can see so sometimes you're forgetting it so I actually made a little uh, note for myself where I'm typing whatever um, setting I'm using so I don't forget it because it will be a shame to start recording, press uh, Alt uh, F10 and you'll start recording from the moment you press the key and you've, it will not record anything from the previous. So that will be a shame and you'll uh, lose the recording. So um, yeah, let's go back again and go down to records. In here you're actually able to um, decide where you're gonna put all the footage. As you saw before, for 10 minutes of gameplay it will fill around 6 gigs. So it's a pretty big file. So my uh, opinion is to place, if you have a second hard drive um, where you don't have anything on, maybe if you have the game, Counter-Strike or whatever you're playing, do not uh, play it on the same one or put the footage on the same one because it's taking a lot of power and it's taking a lot of space. If sometimes I'm uh, recording uh, one hour of gameplay and it can, fill around 20 gigs or something like that. So it, it will fill up really, really fast. And if you forget to delete them, yeah, you will uh, just end up by shutting everything down. And I actually did that myself uh, once times in a game where everything just shut down because I used all my memory. 
and all the disk uh, space <laughs> on my solid state. So uh, don't do it. I'm using another one where I have a two terabyte uh, space. So this is just the place where I throw airy records in there. And sometimes I'm going to go in there and delete some of them. Um, broadcast that's just where you can set up the different uh, broadcast. You can see file, eliminate, broadcast. I don't going to go through all of this uh, because this is a uh, Twitch, this is where you're from, what kind of file overlay and all of that stuff. We don't going to go through that right now. Gallery notifications. This is a, can be pretty good just to say uh, the recording has started. You saw just before when uh, I actually was recording and wasn't able to get into my settings. Uh, there's a little pop up in the corner and this little pop up, it can be a bit irritating because it will come on to the final record. So sometimes when I was recording, this little pop-up came into the picture before um, I started talking. So that meant that when the final record came, I could people could see this little thing come in from the side. So I just took this one off and I actually think that's pretty nice. Um, down here in the last one, privacy control. If you don't have any access to this at all, I have uh, seen a lot of people uh, complaining that they ain't able to get into the instant replay, uh, record, broadcast and snapshot. You just need to turn this on to yes. But sometimes people have more issue with it. So if you have any issue with uh, Shadowplay, just uh, let me know in the comment, type to me and I will uh, do everything in my power to um, to help you out with, uh, with it. So uh, again, guys, I think that was uh, almost everything uh, for, from uh, from Shadowplay. There's to tell about it. It is a great, great um, program that are uh, able and capable uh, of doing a lot of good footage. I think the it's better, in my opinion, that OBS that I know a lot of guys use. I'm using that myself sometimes, but uh, Shadowplay is really easy to use. Uh, so yeah, final up, I'm just going to say to you guys that uh, if you have any questions, you can uh, connect to me uh, by my my YouTube uh, profile. And again, you are more than welcome to subscribe to me. I have uh, right now six subscribers, so that's pretty nice so far. <laughs> but uh, again, once again, thank you for a good time and see you next time. Bye bye, guys. I only call you